Hello, my friends. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. So, a little earlier than usual on a Thursday. Guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen and Helden. I usually am on um, German time, 10 p.m. US time, Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. But um, I've changed that because um, that's uh, pretty late over here and uh, it's always late, late nights. Um, I've got to finish an hour earlier. So I hope that's okay for you. So I'm happy when you join me. Um, when you pop in, just let me know where you're watching from and say hi to me. Um, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, I will see if I can answer them straight away. Otherwise, I will come back later and uh, answer them then there. So, um, this golf bag, um, um, it is a golf bag. <laughs> it was a golf bag and uh, it was uh, basically to be thrown away. And I've um, uh, basically worked a little bit on it to make like a decorational piece out of it. We have some woody bands on there. I don't know if you can see that. Put it here. We have some woody bands on here. You know, we've uh, put that around the top. Um, we have some woody bands uh, down at the bottom. The colors I've used on here are Dixable chalk mineral paints in colored greens. We started at the bottom, gone into Hallerute, that is very, very schön in um, holy guacamole and into tea rose at the top we use from dixie well the Muncha metallics in rose and we also use the um for posh chalk the metallic paste and stuff like that we've used the the mousse and amber and um, well loads of loads of fun projects and uh, now just to finish it off we're going to add a transfer i've already started that over here as you can see and this transfer is like a part of the hallo anja schön dass du wieder da bist <laughs> this is the the uh, painterly floral from ein orchid designs so um that's basically what we're going to add onto onto the piece i've just done those in the german life and uh, ein orchid designs they recommend when you work with the transfers on top of chalk mineral paints that you should uh, seal your piece first. I didn't bother on this side, so I had a little bit of lifting. If this would, would have been a furniture piece, I would have taken it off and started um, all over again. As this is only a decorational piece, um, I'm not, not uh, bothered too much. I'm going to leave it like that. If it flakes off a little bit more, that's, uh, that's not a problem. So I'm gonna go so that you can see the project. I will be out of the screen. So what I've done quickly now, I've um, put the coat of the Dixiebel satin top coat on here. So this is sealed now, so the, the transfer should adhere a little better. And the transfer I am using is um, from Iron Orchid Designs and it is the Painterly Floral, which is this one. It, um, it comes like uh, one of those um, locks basically, and it has uh, eight sheets. It has eight sheets. It has sunflowers, two sheets of sunflowers. It has some lavender, it has some leaves, and it has those roses in there. And the roses are perfect for this bag. So this is, uh, this is what we, we are using it for. So I've already taken it out. There's still one sheet of roses in here. I don't know if I'm going to need them. Probably yes. Um, so let's cut those up first. <clears throat> As I said, they are single sheets and um, every sheet has um, that clear sheet with the grid on there, which makes it uh, easy to align it. And it has like this protect, protective sheet so that the adhesive of the, of the transfer doesn't stick onto anything. So leave the, um, the backing on there as long as possible because, um, you know, those things probably stick when they're not supposed to stick. So you can cut it apart easily. 
And we're going to layer those. So I'm just cutting those out for now. And there's like all different leaves. We can see if we put them somewhere. We can layer the transfer on over each other and things like that. So there, there, there. So just cut it apart and um, go from here. And it's beautifully detailed. I mean, there's uh, such a beautiful painting, and uh, I think the colors they just go perfect with. Um, I don't know what I had in mind first, using the transfer or I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I sometimes feel I had in, in mind that I'm going to use that transfer, so I've basically chosen the colors for it. I'm, I'm, I don't know. There might be. Maybe my my mind was um, playing some tricks with me, but it matches perfectly. So cut those up and I'm going to leave those for now. See if I'm going to use or need something from there. I don't want to cut everything up. So let's see that you can see. Um, I think I'm going to turn it around. So Instagram is on this side. Let's see that a little better because we're going to start basically at the bottom. Hang on. Put, place something underneath. So it is easier for you to see. works and the um, the bag itself I've um, scuffed it out with some paper and stuff like that just so it was easier to paint I'm going to take that out now the question was also before because I've also painted over the, the zips it's like two coats of uh, chalk mirror paint over here and it's uh, one coat of the um, one coat of the of the metallic. So I'm just going to take everything out because obviously when you put a transfer on, you need um, you need like a, like a flat surface and you need something to resist underneath. You know, so that's the reason I've taken that out now and. From here, start at the bottom again. I'm going to make my way up and see how that goes. Okay, I can see there is still some of the satin which hasn't dried yet. I'm just going to wipe that off. It's just done that quickly in between. Wipe that off. I'm just going to dry that quickly. Hang on, guys. Nice. So we'll see if um, it can also be that this is really, I mean, you can stick those transfers. They work beautifully also on uh, on metal or on glass. If you have a mirror, if you have a window, um, that works absolutely beautifully. But obviously this, this material from this golf bag is a special material. It is um, water resistant and, um, and dirt uh, resistant and stuff like that. So this is uh, not the ideal probably not the ideal thing to to put it on but we'll see anyway so i'm going to start with um uh, with one of those stems for the for the the rows so i'm taking the backing off as soon as i'm going to apply that to the surface and that here, stretch it out a little bit because there's like some lace on here. It comes with a stick which I misplaced again. So I'm very good at misplacing things, guys. There it is. Yes, it comes uh, with one of those transfer sticks. So if you are finished with your transfer those sticks are because they're um, plasticky 
they are perfect for they are perfect for stirring your paint or something like that so don't throw them away keep them they're perfect for this thing so nicely nicely so when you just rub it on here so and it fits here beautifully so this is already completely different to what happened before i seal that with um i seal that with the flowers i seal that with uh, the chocolate satin from dixie bell and uh, i can see already it's a complete different um, way of transferring that over here so if you have tricky materials like i'm having here at the moment definitely seal it i thought i might get around it because it was like pretty satiny from the finish but um obviously not and this is the reason i'm doing that for you so you can see how it goes i'm just using the the backing um of the of the um of the transfer just to rub the edges down and make sure it has good grip so then i'm gonna think i'm going to put um another stem probably there sure which one i'm going to have Let's see i have one of those roses i'm going to layer the things later on i first want to put the um the main things down take the backing off and you know that you're using it put it down here place it on here try to stretch it out as good as possible and then just start rubbing it on you can see that it lifts off the paper when the paper gets like a little milky. That's basically when it's transferring over onto your onto your project. So I'm stretching the material underneath while I'm going along with the transfer. So there you can see I'm layering it here over the one of the leaves from the first one, which you can do, you can layer the uh, transfers on top of each other, which also works beautifully. So here, make sure I have everything. Then I can start lifting it. So there's, there's, there's still something which hasn't transferred completely. So I'm going to place the paper down or the plastic sheet down again, rub over this edge and now it's completely transferred onto the back. So all done, nothing left on here. So that's it. Okay, so that on the floor. Let's see. Now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with some roses. And I have one definitely there. So it's underneath here. There's something underneath which I have to check because this is going to be anyway. Um, go. Can be okay there is like some of the material of the bag from the top so i'm going to stretch it out this direction Let's see where i'm going but you can see you can basically place it onto onto anything It's very, very versatile. You can use it for a lot of things. You can achieve beautiful, beautiful, beautiful effects. 
that just there. So put it down. When you've put it down, don't try to lift it back up because it pretty, pretty much about will have already gripped onto something. So um, if you lift it up, there's some of the, the transfer for sure sticking somewhere, you know. If you try to lift it up and you see it has already stuck, you can decide if it has stuck too much that you have to leave it there or if you don't mind that there's like a little piece or something missing, obviously you just lift it up and you go from there and place it in where you want to have it. But uh, mostly, as with everything, you know, So, step one on and get a flame. Let's see. There we go. Let's see, there we go. I'm going to have the smaller one going over it, right there. As I said, you can layer those. here start rubbing it on so if you feel that you've cut it too close to your material underneath you could have just seen that I've um, cut into the paint a little bit with that plastic stick because I'm using some force onto it you could um, use some of the, the um, backings which you already used, place it over it so you have a bigger area to rub your stick over. You know, because when you cut it apart, there might some areas be where you don't have um, much of the foil around left. And um, if you're not careful, like I was just now, you can obviously damage your paint underneath. If you want to avoid that, just use some of the loose paper and place it on. Same thing. So, and this is now sticking completely. So there is like no lifting whatsoever. So this is uh, me trying to be lazy and uh, not using the things as they're supposed to be used. So, I'm going to have some leaves also, take this, set the leaves there, and you can place them as I said wherever you want to, you can place them over, you can place them under, let's uh, can layer them in any way, quickly. Done. Over and done. Over and done. And have some more leaves. Have some more leaves. Leaves, leaves. So cute. So, so cute. That there. And, um, this is the painterly floor by, by Iron, Iron Orchid Designs. So now you can really see that's going on there quickly. And this is giving the, the whole bag like a completely new touch. Really, really like that. So I can decide if I want just part of this sticking up here. I think I want to have it down there. Now I think I want to have some more down there. 
So I'm going to stretch the material first a little bit into the area where I want to go. You could lay, that's what I've done on the side. I've put, um, I've put like a, where is it? Like a cutting board inside the material, but this, this area is pretty big, so it's pretty easy to follow. Yes, it is, Anya. So um, that was uh, just me trying to be lazy and thinking that the, the finish before was uh, set in the anyway, that this would stick. But um, this just proves um, even with, you know, when you have a tricky material like that, it's better to put some satin on there. So um, that's, uh, that's better. Okay. Yeah, we go over it here. Doesn't matter. It's not um, straight. That's not what it's supposed to be. It looks more natural if it um, goes over other bits anyway. So because no flower and no plant is um, like. Uh, moving um, or growing straight next to each other. They always um, go across each other, something like that. There's an area where it hasn't touched the ground or the, the surface properly. Put it back down and um, rub a little more on it. So lift it gently. So you can see how quick that went now. And that already gives it like a very natural, beautiful looking touch. Still, I'm going to go over the edges with that, um, with that backing of the, of the transfer just to rub the edges really nicely on. Make sure they are completely I touch the surface, you can see it really looks completely different. That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, let's see how we can grow further up. If there is room for some more, some more roses. Um, what do you think? Have another one up there to overlap? Or I think that's fine. I don't think I want to have any more roses there. I'll maybe have another leaf or something there, but um, roses is for me fine. I'm gonna put another leaf here. That's what I like. Don't want to overload it. You can overload if you want to, but uh, I'm not really a fan of down, down, down quickly. So let's move to the side. Let's see if you can see. So here we have to take out again the material. Otherwise it won't. Okay, I'm going to put the other material in here to give it a bit more body. So we can turn it a little better. Dankeschön, Anja. <laughs> nope. Nope. Nicht mehr, gell? Obviously, this uh, this bag is only going to be. So this is the this is the original color it came in. Yeah, this was just like uh, 
And this is my test paint I've done. And you can see the finish. It is, this is a chalk mineral paint by Dixiebel. This is a normal chalk mineral paint. This was blueberry I used there. Um, it had already this uh, satiny finish. This is why I thought I might be okay with uh, putting the transfer on without sealing, but I didn't like that. Whatever. Whatever. Go from there. Let's see. Let's have. I actually, see if I can get this one over on here. See if that works. See if I can get it there. Is this area is. I can't really put anything underneath, but let's see. That stretch is enough to place there. Oh, it might be okay. It might be okay. There's enough resistance from the material underneath. Yep. On, on quickly. So there we go. Another rose there. So some up here. A little smaller one. <laughs> That's me again. There's a little smaller one, which I'm going to put up here. Take the backing off as soon or uh, just when you about to use it. Right in that corner. So I'm not taking the material out now. I'm getting lazy again, as you can see. But I think that material gives me enough enough resistance to rub it on. Which it does. Which it does. It's pretty much a folder. Go over, especially over the edges, to make sure that they have good contact. So, go and the bottom here. I'm just gonna have some leaves and that rose down there. Let's see if they're. Maybe a stem. Scissors. Scissors to me. And that's fun, you know. This is just like, you know, you just place place, place the, um, the stuff where you want to have it. And if there is some left over from the, the transfers, you can always use them in another project, you know. That's um, basically what I've done. I've, I've opened that... Um, that transfer up for using it in my kitchen because I wanted to use some of the some of the I'm just going to put that there some of the um, sunflowers on there so this is gonna go right here right there Right there. Place it where you want to have it. 
start rubbing it with that stick onto the material. The lace is a lot easier with the satin on the lace. That there, so I want to have some leaves somewhere. I'll put the leaves at the end, I think. I'm first, I'm going to put the rose there, that's the bigger one, which is nicely on here. So you can see, I think at the top here, I didn't paint, so the transfer is cracking. Oh, um, I did paint, I didn't put the satin on there, so the transfer goes on differently. Just like that here. Instagram. Let's see. Hi, Brigida. Hi, Jill. Hey, girls. I didn't realize you came on. That's good. Good to see you. Sorry, guys. This was basically without um, letting you know beforehand. I basically had to decide um, this week that. Uh, I have to come on a little earlier on, on Thursday for my English live because this is very long evenings um, when I'm on at uh, 10 p.m. German time. So um, that's the reason I'm on a little earlier. So I have some of the leaves here. Why is it down? You have to commit already. I thought I'm going to lift it, but I can could already feel it um, taking grip to to the surface. So I didn't bother. So on there also I layer those just beautifully. And yeah. Bam. on so this works now this is now like clockwork so so ladies what are you doing tonight are you working on any projects or are you just uh, having a nice glass of wine and relaxing because you know what you're doing You can see, I really like the leaves on there. Um, that's uh, I like them almost more than the roses, isn't it? They're really cute. Put another leaf here. Top here. Rub it on there. And lift it gently up. So, AOD transfers, they do recommend when you put the transfer over chalk paints or chalk mineral paints to seal the paint before you apply it. Um, you can see that works just beautifully. Up here, this is uh, an area where I didn't um, have put a satin on. This is cracking and lifting a bit. As I said, if this would be a piece of furniture, I would take it off and um, start again. As this is only going to be a decorational piece, this is not going to go anywhere on the golf course anymore. This is just like, um, this is going to stay inside. So that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I want to have another one, one, one more rose. One more rose. So this is, this is the last sheet of the roses. Which one shall we take? Which one shall we take? Let's see. I think I want to have this one. It's so beautifully done. Oh, this is so. Um, so, and this is going to be sealed afterwards also. Um, even if it's not going outside, but uh, this piece it will be will be sealed just to make sure that uh, nothing is going to happen with it. 
So, there we go. Okay, let's see if that gets enough grip. If you have like tricky areas like this, you can, uh, you know, put like a cutting board on the knees. But that, that just worked beautifully like that also. So going over the set, backing it came just off, rub it back on. like now I think we need something more on top here definitely leaves 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 I have a leaf and a leaf no not this one not this one I have a leaf something like this I'm just throwing it on the floor here, so the cats the cats are gonna have something to play with now. Put it on here. Let's see. Take one more thing there, and then I think I'll call it. Call it a day. I'm gonna grab this one. Sorry, turning right back to you guys. You know how to cut things out, so I'm trying to show you. So let's see. It's gonna go there. Let's see if I can place some of the some leaves somewhere. Oh. Don't stick to your fingers. I've almost done that just now. I'm going to have this one here. Put it down from the top a little more. So, down here, I've had a satin. Up here, I forgot this area. You can feel it the way it uh, snuggles itself onto that, um, onto that area. I think that's pretty much it. You can use the finishing pad by Dixiebel, which is like um, I'm going to show you. Trend over something here. Let's see. Finishing pad. There you go. This is. An already cut up finishing pad by hi betty thank you for joining me this is um this is a finishing pad by dixie bell and um especially when you work with transfers it is like a spongy type of thing um you can you can buff your paint with it and you can snuggle your transfer nicely on it so Going to flake some areas up where it hasn't adhered properly. This is going perfect with that um, little aged and rustic look. And basically, when you, as I said, when you put it on furniture, this is a step which is uh, pretty important, you know, especially around those edges. You go around those edges to make sure that they are not lifting. So this is the Painterly Flower by Iron Orchid Designs. And when you use Iron Orchid Designs transfers, um, put a coat of uh, top coat underneath, basically seal your chalk mineral paints. That works then beautifully. And then you can, let's see, get that to stick. Especially on the edges, there's no lifting there. 
top it nicely, snuggle it onto the surface. So then you can you can seal it. Just there. You can seal it with any type of top coat. If you, as I said before, if you oh, I've got to have a sip of coffee, guys, sorry. Oh, hi Nina, you're there also. Oh, would you bend? Would you bend this on? Hi guys. <laughs> what is it from Would You Bend? Is it you, Sully? So, um. Okay. Um, when you seal it, you can take any type of top coat um, to put on there. And I've chosen the satin. If you have a project uh, which is heavily used, whatever, tabletop or something like that, you and you want to use some gator height, make sure you have something in between. Also, you know, just put like a one or two coats of the, the satin or any of the top coats underneath from Dixie Bell. I mean, you don't have to use Dixie Bell. I, you know, I'm a Dixie Bell retailer, so <laughs> I obviously use Dixie Bell. So, um, let's, uh, so, go on here. And then you basically have our golf bag almost finished. I'm going to have a look at the the final product and um, what I do, especially when I um, put like transfers on and stuff like that, I um, put it a bit further away to have a look at it from a distance and decide from there if there is enough there is enough transfers on there or if I want to have some more I may have some more on top here I'm not quite sure but I've got to look at it from the distance but this this is basically the look we are going for and I think that is pretty pretty cute that is pretty cute so guys this is pretty shiny now as the top coat is still is still wet. So let's see if Instagram can see. You can see. So there's like some nice would you bend trim on the bottom. We have the um, transfer now on top here. The paints are chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell. This is um, Colonel Must um, Colonel Mustard. This is um oh god, I'm lost. Holy guacamole, tea rose, and um, colored, colored greens. Oh my god, brains, 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 guys. <laughs> so, colored greens, there's. So, and the zips we've done with uh, Would You Bands, as they, they have been like normal pulls. We have, um, I've used some of the trims just to cover up those, those zips. I'm gonna bring them you know so to cover up those zips so they look um well they look different they don't look like normal zips now so that's basically going around now and that's the area on top there so that's um where we're going guys i hope you enjoyed that we have lots of wood you bent on top here also see on top here we've used the um we've used some rosé um which materials rosé used some post shock um metallic paste on here we've used um i've made i've made a a wax so to say i made a wax with the only guacamole and the best time wax in clear to get like this green more in there as you can see in those areas just to make it a little mossy those drips we've made with, with the post chalk uh, metallic paste 
also in rose gold we've used there dark green we've used there um i think the green bronze we used on there so this is um thank you betty this is um well this is um a nice decoration piece i think so guys thank you so much this thing is now finished put that to the side <laughs> You look on my floor now, it's like all bits and pieces laying down here. So, um, oops, sitting on this one here. I was looking for that. <laughs> I found it. I found it. So, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that project. Um, I thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I'm happy you found me. I know I'm on an hour early. Uh, this will be my new time, so I'll be very happy if it suits you and you can join me, if you can join me there. As I said, uh, it is it is now almost 10 p.m. over here and it's always like long, long evenings until I have everything finished. It goes in the middle of the night, so I've, I've, sometimes I need some sleep also because I'm during the whole day I'm at the shop, so you know that's uh, that's the way it is. So I'm happy you're there. If you watch replay, put hashtag replay into the comments and uh, thank you, Bridget. Uh, put hashtag replay into the comments and let me know um, that you've been there. Um, if you haven't done it yet, please follow my page. I do uh, lives in English and in German. I'd be happy to see you guys. You may also sprinkle this video, which makes me also very happy. And um, I hope to see you then next week. You stay safe. You have a great weekend. If you have any further questions, just contact me, or put it in the comments or whatever. I'll be right here for you to help you out if you need some help. So guys, I see you next week. You take care and uh, thanks for finding me. Guys, bye. Thank you guys, thank you.